Hey guys, this is Cubition. This is a quick tutorial on how to use an automation editor. In LMMS, automation is where it takes a control such as one of these knobs and it controls it in the program as the song plays. So, I'll demonstrate that later as we work with the automation editor. To add an automation track, you go up to here to add automation track. An automation track appears. You left click to create a little box and uh, you double click to open it and right now it's this big graph of nothingness and it means nothing right now because it's not connected to anything now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in here do a filter if you don't know what a filter is I will explain it later and we're gonna be doing a low-pass filter and basically the effect of a low-pass filter sounds something like this And if you have it off, well, uh, that turns the sound off. Okay, let's try this. So, say we were to have this at the beginning of a song. So it sounds kind of cool because it sounds like it's coming out of a tunnel or something. But we can't do that while the song is exporting. But that's what automation is for. So we'll hold down the control key and we'll drag the control. And all of a sudden it's connected to this and we can open it up. So you can edit the points like this. Of course, this is obviously not the best way to do it because it'll be very choppy because it'll be like going up in case of stairs. But the result is kind of the f effect that we desire. But, um, however, there's different kinds of interpolation. For example, we could do linear. So it's no longer like a stairs. It's more of a solid slope. And then, if you even do this, then it's even smoother. Of course, you can't notice, because usually what you'd want to do is you'd want to get rid of all these points in between and just do one of these. And then, so that's the idea of automation, is it changes the knob as you go. And of course, there's many uses for it, rather than just besides fading in. For example, if you want to be funky, you can kind of just mess around and <laughs> I mean that's just really goofing around but I mean there's so much stuff that you can do with automation and it really is a powerful tool to be used in a song I mean it's great for fade-ins or fade outs you just hold down control drag the master volume and then you can go from zero to 100 and then So that's the concept of automation, and that's how you edit it in the automation editor. I hope that was helpful. Thank you, guys.